Teddy from the gun shop. We've got a nice little, uh, nice little treat for you today here. Nice little project for you. Save yourself a little bit of money. If you got a press or a hand press or whatever, you can do this. See a lot of videos on YouTube about people buying snap caps for practicing, shooting your gun, all different kinds of things you want to do with them. Um, snap cap is a is a dummy dummy load. There's nothing in it. It just allows you to fire your gun, and it almost is like in a fail thing where it, where it's a bad bullet or something jammed or whatever, and it teaches you how to unjam the gun and all that stuff. Um, what I did is, like I said, I saw everybody complaining about uh, aluminum casings, plastic casings, this and that. Plastic, the, the whole uh, snap caps are plastic. So what I did is, I'm not going to go through everything in the press. I just took a 9mm casing, okay, I put it through, knocked the um, primer out, okay, brought it around and put it where it be bellowed it, then I brought it to the next station and I put in, you know, a 115 grain uh, a full metal jacket head and after I pressed it and then I did the factory crimp. I just put them in one of these holders here that you get your uh, bullets in when you buy them. And I took my small glue gun, okay, which fits right inside when you take the primer out. Perfect. And I just kept pressing it and pressing it and holding it. And I just feel the glue coming up. I gave it one more push, let it come up and out, and then let it sit. Probably let it sit for a couple minutes or so. And you just take a razor blade. And you hold the razor blade there and you want to spin the casing around. It cleans it off beautiful. And I let it sit a little bit. Took a red Sharpie, a permanent marker, okay? And you just take and color in the, the glue, which is a plastic filler. So it's a normal bullet, no powder in it, no primer, but it's full of glue from a glue gun. Okay, now I can take my Glock right here and we'll take all the hollow points out of it, which there's six of them. Okay, gun's empty. I will take and put one of these in. You look at the red thing on there, that's how I know. Okay, that's full of plastic. Put it in there and you could practice. You know, you can practice your stance or whatever like that, and bing, acts just like a jam. So you would hold that down range, you know, for like 30 seconds or so, drop the gun, tip it on its side, keeping it down range, obviously I'm not doing that here because I'm not at the range, open it, and there you go, she drops right out. So it's a good way to practice misfires and stuff. Um, and like I said, if you got the stuff for reloading, why go spend $15, $20 on them? I just made five of them today. They work perfect. The glue is dense enough to where the fire pin hits it. It does not hurt it. And uh, it's a nice little project I do on a Sunday. And you can save yourself some money. Um, Teddy's Gun Shop. We're always looking to save you a little time and money. But at the same time, be safe as you can be. So uh, I'm going to sign off. Today's tip, don't go anywhere and buy your own snap caps. Make them at home. Buy your own. Don't buy them from somebody else. Very simple. Cost effective. You can do it with your little tiny uh, glue gun for doing little projects around the house. And uh, that's the tip for today. Save some money and watch Teddy. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I like doing little videos like this. And, um, Hopefully you're having a great day today. The weather's nice out there. I'm going to get out for a little while, probably go for a walk with the dog. Um, I'm going to sign off and say, uh, Teddy's Gun Shop. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up to everybody out there on YouTube land. God bless.